In this video, I'm going to be discussing Social Security and a $1,255 check for everyone. That's the focus of the video. Let's get into it and talk through the details. All right, now before we get into it, let me clarify really quickly. When I say Social Security, I'm talking about everybody who receives benefits administered by the Social Security Administration, including, but not limited to, Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, Spousal, and of course, SSI Beneficiaries. Now, I do want to talk about some recent changes and the new details that are out there right now because this $1,255 has increased over what it was previously not that long ago. Now, I do want to talk about what lawmakers are also suggesting and some legislation that is out there as well as some talk that is out there as well to reform Social Security in a major way. Now, this is no surprise whatsoever as you've been watching the videos from the channel for a while now. You've heard me talk about this so many times before in other videos. They want to reform Social Security. Why? Insolvency issues. In other words, Social Security trust fund running out of money and those uh, Social Security cutting benefits by 23% or about that much based on the recent preliminary numbers. That's what we're looking at as of right now. So it all comes down to Social Security insolvency. That is why we continue to hear all these people coming out as of recently saying, let's make these changes. Let's raise the full retirement age. Let's raise taxes on higher income people. Let's cut the COLA. Let's reduce the COLA. Let's stop giving COLA to higher income people. Let's shave down benefits of higher income people and give it to the lower income. Let's adjust benefits to the federal poverty line. Again, these are just a couple of the different proposals that are out there. You've heard me talk about all of them before in all the videos, but this is another one that's out there right now. And again, I want to bring this to your attention. Now, down below in the comment section, I do see every so often some people reaching out and saying, why do you even talk about this? If it's not happening, don't tell us about it. Okay, that's a fair rebuttal. I totally agree. Maybe if something isn't happening, for sure, maybe we shouldn't talk about it. However, I want to say this much as well. I bring this stuff to your attention because we know for a fact Social Security is going to be reformed. We know for a fact Social Security will be changing. Here's the thing. If Social Security doesn't change, the, the difference is a 23% cut to benefits. So <laughs> what what do you want? Do you want to change or do you want your benefits to be cut by 23% overnight? Uh, I'm not sure about you, but I would rather take some change rather than having benefits cut overnight, okay? That's the difference because, uh, because we know that Social Security is going to be changing. We don't know what the changes are going to be yet. So I'm not sure about you, but I'm watching everything very closely and I want to continue to stay in tune with what is going on because anything that pops up right now, as far as introductions, to you know, reform or change to the program, any of these could be applied. We don't know what that's going to be yet. And even lawmakers don't know what those changes are going to be yet. That's the scary part. We don't know and they don't know. That means anything goes. That's my point. So I'm not sure about you, but I want to stay uh, in tune with what is going on here. All right. So with that being said, again, I just wanted to preface that really quickly so we can all be on the same page here and why I want to bring this to your attention. But some people are suggesting, but wait, why are some people getting a 300 or 400 or 700 or 900 or $1,300 or $4,800 monthly benefit right now? Hmm, major discrepancy there, right? Yeah, exactly. Some people are getting thousands and thousands of dollars, 3,000, 4,000, even $4,800 plus is the new maximum benefit that somebody can get right now from Social Security. That's a lot of money. And on the other end of the spectrum, somebody's getting 300, 350, 600, 700, 900, something like this, barely, barely scraping by and getting services from other benefit programs out there because their monthly benefit does not serve them, right? Well, as a result of that, some people are suggesting, but wait, why don't we just make Social Security just a flat benefit program, right? Well, again, obviously, as you can probably anticipate, this is getting a ton of pushback because a lot of people are saying, but wait, you're getting your benefits based on what you've paid in and what you've earned over your 35 highest years of income, right? So that's kind of how the program works, right? You pay in through Social Security over uh, an extended period of time. They basically take your 35 highest years, they average it all out, they inflate it up to current levels of inflation, and then they basically just determine what your benefit is. Well, that's obviously going to get a lot of pushback and a lot of rebuttal back to that, right? Well, some people are just suggesting, but wait, rather than doing that, let's just flatten out benefits to everybody and send out a benefit that is uh, consistent with the federal poverty line for every single beneficiary. Now, obviously, that would be good for some people who have benefits below the federal poverty line and some people that have a benefit significantly above the federal poverty line 
probably wouldn't love this idea. Now, this is one iteration of this idea. However, there are other, there are other iterations out there as well, which suggest rather than doing that, shaving down benefits for higher income people, maybe we just lift benefits for lower income people as in anybody below the federal poverty line, at least up to a minimum benefit of the federal poverty line. Again, I kind of like that idea, right? kind of keeps everybody happy rather than taking benefits from higher income people. And again, I'm not saying that, you know, somebody should be getting $4,800 a month. I don't know. Again, who am I to say how much money somebody should be getting on a monthly basis? I'm just simply saying, rather than, you know, upsetting a lot of people, maybe we could just make everybody happy, keep benefits for everybody above the federal poverty line and anybody below that, raise them up to the federal poverty line. I don't know. Seems like a win-win to me. But again, obviously that can be um, negotiated out a little bit. But here's what the situation is. Now, every single year, the federal poverty line adjusts a little bit higher. Now, for 2023, obviously right now we're in 2024, but in 2023, the federal poverty line adjusted higher by 5.51%. In 2024, obviously where we are right now, the federal poverty line adjusted higher by 3.29%, okay? However, it has gone up by $480 for the entire year, or it has gone up um, a little bit more on a monthly basis. Here's uh, what the federal poverty line is, okay? So as of right now, the federal poverty line is $15,060 a year for 2024. Divided out on a monthly basis is $1,255 a month is what the federal poverty line is, okay? Now here is what some of these people are suggesting. Let's just make all benefits at least the federal poverty line benefit amount, which is $1,255, okay? So that is what some people are suggesting. Now, obviously, there's a couple different iterations as I just talked about. Some people are saying, let's make all benefits the federal poverty line number, which again, right now is $1,255. And some people are saying, let's just raise benefits who are below the federal poverty line, at least up to the federal poverty line, so that nobody receiving benefits is below the federal poverty line. Again, nice idea. I like it, right? So anyway, this is what it comes down to. The $1,255 on a monthly basis is where the federal poverty line is for right now, 2024. Last year, 2023, it was $1,215, which is a difference of $40 a month, okay? So it's obviously not a ton, but it's actually going up more than uh, actual uh, the COLA for benefits, right? It's obviously, you know, keeping pace a little bit as far as the increases to the federal poverty line, 3.29% this year and the 3.2% COLA. So obviously they're very, very similar, but it's actually, you know, adjusting higher. So anyway, this is one of the proposals that's out there. And again, I want to bring this to your attention, not to say, oh, it's happening tomorrow, because it's not, it's not happening tomorrow. But I want to bring this to your attention so we can all be on the same page here and understand these are some of the ideas that are out there. Again, some of the ideas that we see floating around are crazy. Seriously, they're really bad proposals. However, when it comes down to this one, I actually agree with the one that says raise benefits up to a minimum of the federal poverty line and leave everybody else alone, right? There's no need to adjust other benefits. Again, this is just my opinion. Why adjust other benefits for people that are receiving higher income? Whatever, if they're getting a higher benefit, whatever. I mean, maybe, fine, maybe take them down a little bit. I don't know, negotiate the details on that. But in my opinion, nobody receiving fixed income benefits should be receiving a benefit below the federal poverty line. That should be like the line in the sand. Everybody gets a benefit of at least the federal poverty line on a monthly basis, no less than. Then we cannot sit here and say, hey, look at this, 10 plus million seniors and a couple million people with disabilities receiving social security benefits are below the federal poverty line living in poverty because of the program. At least we can now say they're not living in poverty anymore. Not a bad approach, right? I don't know. That's obviously we could change a lot of things about it, but I feel like that approach right there is actually a pretty solid one. So anyway, want to share that with you really quickly here in this video. That's the focus of this one. So again, if you have not done so, make sure to do yourself a huge, huge favor. Subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. There's a big subscribe button down there. Make sure to share the video with your friends on social media. Again, totally free to do so. Go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel, including those that I have in the video library, as well as those that I've linked down below in the description or at the top of the comments section. And until next time, enjoy your day. Leave me your thoughts, your comments, your feedback down below. I'd like to hear what you have to say on this one and enjoy. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll see you again later in the